All right, today we're going to do embroidery. I've already traced my picture onto my burlap, and I'm going to need a needle. I'm going to need a piece of yarn and this little piece of folded paper. Embroidery is basically when you're tracing something with thread. So to do that, first we got to get the thread on the needle. So I'm going to take this little piece of paper and think of it like a hot dog bun. I'm going to put my yarn in it like it's a hot dog. And then I'm going to scoot the yarn inside. If it's sticking up, you can just push it down. And then I'm going to put this piece of paper through the eye of my needle like this and just pull it out. So now I have the yarn on my needle. Now on the other end, I need to make a knot. So I'm going to make a U. I'm going to take the end under so that it makes an O. I'm going to put the end inside the O, lift this side up, and pull the string. Now if your knot is too little, you might have to make another knot, so just do it again. U, go under, O, whoops, put it through, and pull it. Sometimes knots are tricky and they don't end up on top of each other, so you might have to do it one more time. U, O, under. It helps sometimes if you do it slowly to try to get the knots on top of each other. And then I can get started. I'm going to start under my drawing. So this is the top. I'm going to start underneath. And you can kind of see through there. Just find a place. If you go over here, just move your needle so that it's on the line. And then we're going to pull it through. The trick is to make sure every time you're pulling it all the way through so that the knot stops. And then we're going to think of it like a swimmer. They're going to go in the water and I'm going to pull it all the way through and then it's going to come out of the water and I'm pulling it all the way through every time. In just going to go down and then it's going to go up and this is called a running stitch and we just go down and up up and then back down now if you're not careful and you go through the same hole watch what happens to the stitch right here if I come through the same hole again the stitch undo, undoes itself. So you need to make sure you're going through a different hole every time. And if you forget to go up and you go down instead, oh man, now you have string going through the side. Well, we can just go through the same hole again and undo that part. So I'm just going to go up and down. Notice I'm keeping my stitches kind of small. They're about as wide as my fingertip. If you don't, this is called a running stitch and if you don't like the spaces in between, then you can do a back stitch. So to do a back stitch, I'm going to go a little further this time and it's called a back stitch because now I'm going to go back to where I started. That way now there's not going to be a space. So I'm going to go further, go a little bit ahead, pull it, and go back to where you started. get to the end 
and you finish tracing or if you start to run out of yarn you're going to want to put another knot in the back so if you ended in the front you're just going to take your needle take it down so that it's behind in the back then we can make another knot so I'm just going to make a loop again put the needle through and pull it. I'm going to keep my fingers close to the fabric and push this down so that knot is by the fabric. If your knot is too little just make another one. So you're going to loop it put the needle through and push it down. And like I said if your knots don't end up on top of each other you might have to do it a few times. Then I can take my needle off and cut my extra yarn. So now I've got that part traced. If I wanted to um, color in some of these shapes, right now that's just a line. I'm going to try to color in some of these shapes using a satin stitch. I'll show you how to do that. we got to put So to do satin stitch, this is how you do it. You're going to start in the back again. Just find where you need to go. Pull it up all the way. Keep pulling till it stops. And then I'm going to go straight across. And then I'm going to start right beside where I just went. So I'm going to come up again and go across again. So I'm just going from the side of my shape to the other side of my shape. So now I have that part that's colored in. Now if I want to go to the next shape, I need to make sure that my needle is on the back, which it is, and then I'm just going to go bring um, start on this next shape right here. So I'm just going to look for my needle again and pull it through. You want to make sure you do that on the back because now I can't see that yarn going across. If I did it in the front, I would have that yarn going across the front and I don't want that. 